only David, another David. Clearly, I am just with David this morning. <laughs> David Rukasi will be joining us on the conversation. Now, as it stands, as of this morning, in one of the leading dailies, we do have that pastors have rejected the government policy on religion that will set to check the faith-best centers and institutions within the country by making sure, first and foremost, they are registered. For those that would like to be a part of it and be maybe a pastor, a church planter, you will need to have a theology degree. And also the fact that these institutions will have to have their own accounts. Now just to make sure that in case you missed this, you need to take a look at this story because for the government to come and say this and we have pastors saying no, we will not let this happen because this will stop and will curb the spread of the gospel within the country Uganda, which motto is for God and my country. Lately, there has been a rise of false preachers who stage bogus miracles with intention of wooing and cheating their flock. Today, a number of Pentecostal faith leaders gathered in Kampala to brainstorm on the proposal. The born again church leaders described the move as appalling and wanting. So you cannot put under the new policy, all clinics will be required to obtain formal theological training and also a certificate from a recognized institution. This they objected to. It's not, it's not government's duty to streamline those issues. These are theological issues. These are doctrinal issues. The government knows nothing about our doctrine. If they had known our doctrine, they wouldn't have registered it waiting. It is evident that a more academic qualification cannot stop one from committing crimes. According to the policy document, a number of stakeholders, including the Anglican Church, Roman Catholic Church, the Orthodox Church, Interreligious Council of Uganda, judges, and members of parliament, among others, were consulted. What I know is that three years ago, the government embarked on a project to try and streamline religious issues in this country. And this is not just for the Pentecostals and Evangelicals. This is for the entire spectrum. All faiths are included. In their resolution, the born again church leaders agreed to ask Prism 70 to suck Lokodo. We request that His Excellency the President consider us to transfer Honorable Father Simon. Our efforts to sound out the ethics minister Simon Lokodo did not yield fruit. Uh, I'm requesting, can we do the interview on phone? I'm not now, no. I'm busy. Ivan Now, to talk furthermore on this and expand it, is the one and only Andrew Hassan <coughs> in this story, Pastor David Chiganda. You're most welcome to me on TV. And uh, I think we should all listen to this carefully because, as it stands, for you as the leaders to say that perhaps you need to take out and ask for the sacking of the state minister. Father Lokode, that seems to be something huge. Where is this coming from? It's not uh, because we hate him. Mm. We don't have um, anything in the background that would make us hate him. But uh, I think it's a consideration that even uh, in courts of law, we need to get to be realized that uh, the judge in the case maybe is a relative to the accused mm -hmm. or a friend to the plaintiff then one of the party can consider to request that judge to get out of that case so that's what you think father Lokodo is a, a religious leader okay by the title of father mm. that makes him a trinity roman catholic father who cannot really be the right person to be on top of this because he has got an interest. Mm -hmm. He's likely to be a victim of religious biasness. 
how is he going to run away from that? Mm. Um, it becomes so complicated when you ask one of the beverage companies to regulate another. It's like you're asking Coca-Cola mm. to register Reham, register um, Pepsi Cola, uh, and uh, Kitty Soda. I mean, the others become very uncomfortable. They say, hey, how are you going to be the one? You're our competitor. Yes. How are you going to regulate us? How are you going to register us? So we are all aware that uh, the Roman Catholic Church for a very long time uh, look at us as competitors. And at one time, His Excellency has mentioned this a lot of times, that uh, when he came into power in 1986, he was contacted by some religious leaders, and uh, all what they were asking him mm. was to <coughs> find a way of getting get rid of the Pentecostals, because they were giving them a lot of headache. They are taking a lot of their people. Mm -hmm and they were becoming very uncomfortable with them, so that was their request until the president told them, you know what, we can't do things that way. Let us allow them to exist. If God doesn't want them to be, God himself will get rid of them. And that is how the Pentecostal church survived up to now. Now here we are today, uh, either by lobbying or by any good chance from their side, or, I mean on their part, their priest happen to be now the, pre the, the priest. Okay, there are two issues here. One, I believe apparently as I'm speaking now, uh, the churches are not registered under Lokodo's ministry, mm -hmm. apparently. Mm -hmm. All the churches you see, they are either registered with Minister of Lands, especially the Roman Catholic Church is still under there, mm -hmm. uh, under the arrangement of trust trusteeship, then the, most of the Pentecostals are registered under Minister of uh, Justice, and a few others are still with Minister of, uh, Ministry of Internal Affairs under the NGO arrangement. It's not anywhere we, uh, that uh, there is any church apparently that is registered under Minister of Ethics and Integrity. Uh, I, I believe what is going on, the kind of um, discussion and the consideration and the lobbying that is going on, mm. the, the, they are trying to see can we get all the churches and put them under the Minister of Ethics and Integrity. Yes, while that is still a dialogue, the person who is uh, there is already threatening us. It's like you, 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 some, a woman is trying to get married to your father, mm. but he's vowing. Eh? When she comes in. That when I come in, I'm going to show you who I am. Okay, just Would to, you feel comfortable? No, but Pastor, well, just to put it on the side of away from conflict of interest in regards to Father Lokodo. Hmm. If we look at it in the state, Uganda is not the only country that in 2018 considered this. The fact is that also in 2018, 2018 sorry, we had Rwanda consider the same and actually pass this as a law. Why? Because they were protecting the innocent folk there from the spiritually... Uh, greedy, let's put it this way, spiritually greedy pastors as they claim to be because we have a very hungry and growing thirsty folk. They need God. They are looking and seeking for God. And that is what Rwanda was coming through because the same things that are happening and trying to take effect in Uganda through this policy have been tried to be put in Rwanda, also in Kenya and in South Africa as well. So would you believe that perhaps the folk need to be protected? Well, I really don't think that uh, Luanda should be our role model. Exactly. I think they have more to copy from <laughs> us than us copying from Please, them. Please, do tell us. Okay. I would think so. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are Uganda and they are Rwanda. Mm. That is also another fact. Maybe uh, uh, what we are doing today that is what the the Luanda or these pastors maybe that's what they failed to do and that's why they fell victim of such mm. that is not a good story in any country that's not a good story and we should not take pride into such and we are still praying for them many of them they have taken a refugee in parts of the western parts of the country mm -hmm. they could be even some other issues that you may not even know you know, they could be even uh, on a hidden agenda. Nobody has interviewed them. 
uh, to, to uh, tell exactly what exactly happened. I believe, I, I understand you, the same was tried in Kenya, like you're saying, but uh, but they withdrew from that. That is the update that I had, mm. because uh, that I, uh, it's, n it's not a good thing for any country. Moreover, uh, that, that sound is a very big contradiction mm, as that. far as the constitution is concerned because you cannot guarantee a society okay mm. with a freedom of worship and then you wake up one morning and say by the way before you worship this is what you have to do we don't have any outcry from our people that comes to us to worship. Nobody is forced to come to us. Mm. Okay, no, have you ever been forced to go to church? No, I have not. You go there by your own will. By own will. Mm. Whatever you offer there, whatever you do there, that's none of nobody's business. Okay? So, uh, and also, if there is any cited tendencies of crime in our churches, okay, we may not deny, because uh, this happens everywhere. Okay, almost in every industry, you're gonna cite unfairness. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a political industry, whether it's uh, you go into police, you still find a fake policeman there. You go into politics, you find a fake politician. You go in every in every media, media. You, you you just line up uh, a media conference there, mm -hmm. and among the twenty uh, journalists there, five of them will be fake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are, you, are you going to make a new rose? Are you going to make a new rose to, to rectify that? As, as, as much as I do agree with you that um, it's it's not government's duty to uh, regulate churches, but it, it's it, it's the government's duty to 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 protect us, the people. And I know you agree with me. We, we, we've had the, the, the discussion on taxes, on taxing re churches and religious leaders. And you, I know you agree with me. At some point in this country, you have seen religious leaders collect huge sums of money and spend them with no sense of responsibility, of accountability, to ask the people that are openly giving this money to contribute to the growth of the church, to the, the gospel being spread around. So at, at, at some point, the government has to come in and protect us from a few individual pastors and religious leaders that are, let me call it selfish needs, are going selfishly to spend these earnings and do things that are leaving the flock that believe in you thinking, do these guys really care about us? Are we really spreading the gospel or are we making them rich? Okay, uh, there are two or three things to look into here. I'm just wondering who is trying to protect who. You are an adult that comes to church, uh, but before you make any noise, government is making noise on your behalf. I think before government uh, tells me that I'm stealing from you, government is to, should stop you from coming. Then you don't come to church. That's the best way of protecting you. Because you give whatever you give either out of what we have already benefited from the church, you give it out of love, okay? And you say, here is my offering, here is my tithe. You actually give a tithe, a tithe is 10% of what God has already given to you, okay? You come to church and they pray for you and you get 10,000. Then you offer, 10, you, you, that is what? Out of 10,000, you, you offer 1,000. Yes. So you've kept your 9,000. Yes. So you're still worried about the 10, the, 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 the 1,000 you have given in church, and you want accountability out of, out of that. Maybe uh, talk to the leader to and, and ask him to give you the accountability if that is your wish. But, but, but Pastor, we are, we are, we are, I'm, I'm sorry, but we are adults. Mm -hmm. Yes, you say we are adults. Mm -hmm. And I know you have children. Mm -hmm. If you, you raise your young man, your lady goes out there, finds a man, it doesn't stop you from telling that that, 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 that man, that adult, or that lady, that the man you're bringing home, mm -hmm. I don't think you should bring him home. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are an adult, mm -hmm. but that doesn't stop you as a parent, mm -hmm. as a father, mm -hmm. from telling your adult child mm -hmm. that I don't think this is right. Mm -hmm. But who do you tell now? You tell the man that want to marry your daughter or you tell your daughter? Either way, whoever you tell, they are both adults. No. You should let them decide for themselves. My opinion is, if government is so much a concerned about what you give, and you're also uncomfortable giving it to church, let the government stop you from coming. Nobody has forced you to come to church. 
but then I will I will just say this person. Has anybody forced you to come to church? No one has, but what happens within church? Because we have known about the fact that there's commercialization within the church as it stands, that there are tokens that are being asked for. If anyone remembers Holy Rice. Yeah. A number of people knew that Holy Rice was not right. A number of people came out and said this shouldn't be happening in church. But there were individuals that were actually purchasing this Holy Rice. Why? Because they were spiritually hungry. They were spiritually thirsty. They were looking for what could have been an answer to maybe something that was going on in their lives. And they told them, this token, if you buy it, will help. This has happened in South Africa. We have had stories of people who have actually taken jeek who have been sprayed doom, doom. Who, things yeah. have happened to their health because they were looking maybe it, it has actually been commercialized mm -hmm. and if a, if a government is saying they're going to put rules within the freedom of worship mm -hmm. to protect this folk that can't actually see this mm -hmm. where is the problem in that okay two things let's talk let's start with holy rice mm. if uh, holy rice is a problem and uh, it is a sword, and their concern is that it has been sword. Let the, let the URA mm -hmm. contact the gentleman who has made a sale and ask him for a tax. But it shouldn't be the money they are looking for, Pastor. Uh -huh. It's not the money they are looking for. No, they are where looking, is, where is the they are looking to protect the folk because honestly, if, they why, can't, if people are blinded the, the, and can't the see the rights, the question is wrong. why now? The Roman Catholic Church has been here for close to 200 years. Yes, it has. They have sold rosaries. Mm -hmm. That is a religious item. Nobody yes. has ever complained. Mm. They have sold the secapulari. Mm -hmm. Nobody has yes. ever complained. Mm. They have sold the holy waters. Mm. Nobody, Nobody has ever complained. Mm -hmm. They charge money from the family mm. to pray for a deceased who has died already yes. that uh, the, the prayers that they're going to make will help the other guy to make it to heaven. Mm. Nobody has ever... Is that not exploitation? Why, why now mm -hmm. that... Uh, it is only now the Pentecostals, they are saying, hey, 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 we are doing it. Why haven't they ever looked, looked into to that, to that? Because it has been here for more than 100 years. Yes, it has, and I'll agree I'm with not you saying, that I'm not saying that selling holy lies is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I'm trying to get out of my box mm -hmm. and look at it as a wider scope, why that one is a problem and the other is not a problem? But, 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 look at it this it, way. That could be a problem because of this. Yeah. The rosary has never harmed anyone when it's based on their body. And the rest yes. has harmed somebody? In situations where we've had people drink drinks that have been concocted for different, perhaps they're telling them that this will help you heal this, the likes of the holy water. Yes? People, holy water, you get to shower it, it is sprinkled on you. But never do they tell you to drink it. And that is where the thing so, is. They're not, so they're not other attacking. Other we're not attacking in any way. I do not believe they're attacking perhaps the Pentecostal church. Uh, I think what they're trying to curb, and perhaps you let me know, mm -hmm. perhaps do you believe that there could be people that are masquerading within the Pentecostal churches there with their own selfish reasons? Because if that's happening, they're not there to spread the word, but they're there to get their own benefits. And that, if at all it happens, it does not necessitate mm. to create a new law. We have enough laws in this country that can cap down all those kind of things. It's like you tell me that uh, because the king of Rwenzururu has involved himself in a crime, then you need to enact a new law that will arrest the kings. Do you need that? No, but that means... No, no, no. That no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Was he not charged? He was. Did we need a new law? Did we, did we need a new law to 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 arrest and accuse the king? It's within the it means that is already available. Mm. That's what we are saying. If any pastor has done any wrong thing, use the existing new law. Mm. The pastor has raped somebody. Go for him. Mm -hmm. The the existing laws can still deal with that. You don't need a new law. We have made a lot of laws that are not helping this country and yet they cost us a lot of money to make Pastor. but after making them you find that the, the guys who presented the budget of the process they have already benefited whatever they want to benefit but the law has not helped in any way Pastor, allow me interject a bit um comparisons aside um Com but I wanted you to say something about what you say. Yes. About uh, the herethe issues <laughs> in the, the, rice and in the, the rice drinks yes. that uh, people drink. If that is a concern, mm. 
let Minister of Health investigate I mean, that. Yeah. Let Minister of Health investigate that. And if they find that something is hazardous in those kind of stuff, mm. drinks and what, let them come in. But how will they know and let, that Actually, let them make a report that the water is hazardous and let them deal with that. The laws, the laws will deal with that. Number two, but still as they are doing it, mm. It shouldn't only be the Pentecostals that uh, that should be put on a, spot, a spotlight. Mm. I think the traditional religion has been here for a long time, and there is a lot that are done which we are still questioning. Yes. Why only Pentecostals? You have seen the waters in Namugongo, mm. Mata's Shrine. Do those waters have any a certificate from the National Bureau of Standards? Don't people draw it and take it home and drink it? Mm -hmm. How sure it is safe water? Many other hazardous people, mm -hmm. hazardous stuff. Do you approve, if you are concerned, and it's not only the Pentecost that you should look at, mm -hmm. if, in your opinion, do you think it's a good thing to make somebody to walk from Mutukura to Namugongo by foot? It Answer is, my question. No, this is this. If you say brother. Bodies, this, this is some people's bodies. These are people's somebody's choices. Somebody's These are people's choices. And we're going to go with one hey, thing. No, hey, Pastor. Hey, hey, somebody's body. Yes. It but you are a government. Wrong. You are a government. You are here to protect the people. If it has gone back, and that is where, because you, as because as this states, this policy states that it is all for faith, all faith best institutions not only are they looking at just one which is the pentecostals they are looking at the roman catholics they are looking at the muslims but you are not answering my Africans. question no and i'm going to it yes one thing that may be happening in the pentecostals may not be happening in the anglicans and if there's something that perhaps you might raise and say this needs to be stopped in this area and people also come out and say it needs to be stopped and it's a general consensus yes because no one has come out so far to state that this walking has harmed them and if so we have seen ambulances always on these roads of late when these people are making the pilgrim. So I do not understand how it goes to this because, Pastor, what I want us to know is that there are so many people within the church that are being preyed on, and perhaps this is why the government is coming through. Shouldn't we protect these people? Why are we? Because if the pastor, I want to know, do you know of any of we, need, we need to, you are saying, I'm mm. quoting you, mm. we need to protect these people. We need to protect them. Fine. Why don't you start with is protecting the people who walk from Guru to, that to is Namugongo. Start with those ones. They have been they're doing answers. that. They have been doing that for hundred years. Yes, they have. How sure are you mm. that they don't drop on the way and die? How sure are you we that have after Namugongo? No, no, no. How sure are you that after Namugongo they, they don't, don't they dead. get problems, health problem back home and they die? Have, have you ever reports. investigated that? No, we have had reports and no one is denying it. And even when you take it to the traditional healers, there has been a bill that they're trying to make sure that these people are actually checked yes in each and every situation there are checks and measures for a reason yes and maybe there are checks and measures and balances <laughs> everywhere that need to be put Pastor, in Pastor, 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 no, Pastor, I want I want I want I want I want I want to take this saying. conversation hmm. away from comparisons and competition yes Pastor are you telling me that is you know when you I, do I, that I, that's I, the only time you are fair yes i want to take it away from comparisons because it looks like we're going back and forth mm. on these guys are doing this why are you coming up after why us now? for, for doing this yeah. asking why I, I, now? I, I want why not then why I, not then why now i want us to take why it. us why not then pastor i want us to take this conversation away from that and i want us to agree on one thing do you believe that with this kind of because uh, it it we, we've had you know the the our local uh, the witch doctors yes. on, the, on, on, on the villages and they never used to collect these sums of money we had the churches before they never used to collect these sums of money now we have religious leaders in one sect in one sect that are collecting huge sums of money do you believe that they should spend it without any sense of responsibility and accountability and we should just go on with that? Is that what you're saying? That we should no, we, we should no, see pastors no, buying their their, no. their 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 girlfriends expensive cars and housings and throwing lavish parties and buying themselves Range Rovers and you know putting personalized plates on them without any sense mm -hmm. of responsibility to their flock mm -hmm. and accountability to mm -hmm. that. I believe every church has got an administration in place. Every sensible church, especially those that are um, been around for some time, they have structures in place, 
they have administration, they have got accounts, and they submit books, they do books of but accounts. So we, 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 we can't depend on these people. Every single musician, every single person has a manager. Mm -hmm. Those are the same people that steal their, 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 their social media platforms and take them away. The people who are managing you are doing a good job mm -hmm. because that's what you want. But they have their selfish needs as well. Mm -hmm. So we can't trust those people mm -hmm. with the whole huge flock mm -hmm. of people who are following you. We need mm. the government to come in mm. and help us mm. and say, help who? The, the, the flock. We the 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 citizens. The we the citizens. Are you, are you, are you uncomfortable? Yes, we, we, clearly we are uncomfortable. It, it's not about why I got there. No, 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 you are uncomfortable so about something. I, what, what it's I like I'm, com I'm uncomfortable to be in NTV. Why do I come? So what I'm trying to understand, Pastor, is this. Pastor, you're clearly saying that as it stands, if you go into a church, it is your choice to make. Yes? If you, do not, like, if you do not like it there, Don't go. leave. Don't yes? go. So, but this, so is, the, when, this is when, you see, there are a number of times that pastors have a lot of power, and I don't know if you can, and religious leaders as, as a whole, that they will say one thing and we will go with it. Yes? Do you agree? That they have a higher influence? when mm -hmm. it comes to the people. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of times people are hoodwinked because of the influence they have over these people, mm -hmm. the powers and they you, have. And you want to come to that influence? It needs to be checked. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Or do you not agree with the fact that perhaps there needs to be a check in this? Well, I really don't know how they're going to do that mm. because first of all, uh, the, the flock, mm. which is you, yes. come, and you as well sometimes. comes to this church mm. Uh, voluntarily, mm -hmm. if for the lack of a better word, it is their choice to come. And many of these uh, members do appreciate their past and what they are doing. Mm -hmm. They are able to see that, uh, well, we last year we didn't have this, but uh, because of the monies that we have given, our pastor and our church has been able to do this, which should actually be appreciated first mm -hmm. before we are uh, accused. Because uh, I don't think a government has ever given us any money to do what we are doing. Mm. And yet when you look into it, it's a big contribution to the growth of this country and to the well-being of the country. I think before we are accused, you know, sometimes before you ask somebody for an accountability, you need to know how much did you give to him. But if, how will we... You understand my point. If I give you 50,000, mm -hmm. yes, David perhaps gives another 100,000. Mm -hmm. David will never know that I get 50,000, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because I never put it, I put it in an envelope mm -hmm. and put it in the offertory mm -hmm. bag. What I'm so saying... it's never known. What I'm saying, mm -hmm. before government is concerned about uh, accountability in churches, mm -hmm. they may need to know, how much has he ever donated to those churches? Before he comes to try and... Focus Before you come and mm -hmm. ask how much did you get? How much did you give me? Well, well, so men of, let me tell you, <laughs> many of these churches, the way they start, and many of these pastors, how they start the church, nobody even knows yes. where they get their resources from. Mm -hmm. What if you come for an accountability, and the pastor tells you that, well, I am in debt with a bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have an uncleared loan of four billion. Are you going to contribute? No, but then no, no, you, you get my point. Mm -hmm. What what if some of them are even dead? Because you don't know how they start. Mm -hmm. But you don't know how they got the money to buy the land where they are to build that building to build, to buy the equipment. So you don't know. But shouldn't be this? Shouldn't actually that be the issue there? Because if you say that someone started a charge on a debt, okay. yes, aren't they going to use the fork to pay back that debt? And in is that fair? To, is, in regards and, to the offer and, 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 and that we, is given we, we can't go with the saying that what, what, did you I, say, what have you just said what have you just said say it again what if yes you say or perhaps they don't state where the money has come from mm -hmm. yes and maybe it is a debt as you have given in another mm -hmm. yes and then this pastor is going to because as because, a, as because they're now saying it's a money-making scheme it's no longer he's under pressure cases. to pay back this loan. so wouldn't he use the offertory and the tithe to actually pay back the debt mm -hmm. is that even a crime would that be a crime in the church is that be a crime? Yes, yeah. would that be a crime? When the pastor How the uses, the when the pastor to uses the collection to pay a debt, mm. you, are you concerned about that? Yes, I'm asking, would it be a crime? Wouldn't. Would it? Is it a crime? I, I don't think it would. Mm. First of all, you look into the, the services the church offer to the people, mm -hmm. and that is a wash. You may need a good, you, first of all, you may need land or a building, mm. 
okay to do whatever you're doing and it's a service to the people which service is on demand the people want it mm -hmm. but you may realize that maybe you need to rent a building maybe you need to, to to buy land i mean for you to be able to offer that services to, to yeah. the people mm. you may need a facility first okay but getting it maybe you may need a loan mm. okay and uh, the people that you serve maybe they are willing to contribute to maybe in bits mm. okay now do you see any problem there if any pastor happened to do that because well, even the government of uganda mm. for it to give you the services give you sometimes it realizes that it they don't they don't need enough they don't have enough funds yes okay to mm. run your affairs and give you services then they go to the world bank is yes. that a crime no they go to the world bank after letting us know that we're going to be borrowing from here and there don't they usually and let loan us is know. Approved. yes so do you ever let the folk know because in this case, you'd have to let the folk know that, that you we see, have a bank loan. We have a loan. We need to yes, or yes. we are trying to build. We have borrowed, they and the money is going to go to this. Pastors rest. have done that a lot of times. They have let them know. Definitely. Pastor, pastor, you still they haven't. Have you you still haven't answered my question. Do you feel that religious leaders should spend the money that they collect without any sense of accountability or responsibility to the flock? Religious leaders. I don't. I, I don't want to look at pastors. Yeah. I don't want to look at fathers. Yeah. Do you believe that? Uh, since, do you, do since, you subscribe, since, excuse me. Yes. Do you subscribe to any religion? Yes, I do. Of course. Which one is that? I, I don't want to put myself in that spot. Do you, be genuine. No, I don't. Be, be honest. Because, with the because, because because I know what is going to happen. As soon as I tell you where I belong, uh -huh. now you know where to attack me from. No, no. And no. I don't want. I don't want this conversation do to fair, be about me do and you. Do you think it's a fair thing for you to know where I come from and I don't know? Where you coming from? Well, it's. Um, Do you think it's fair? It, it's not fair because you are out there. You are pastor. <laughs> I am not okay. in any. Okay. Let's take so an that, example. That, that Let's take answer an, the question. Let's take an example. You, maybe you are a Catholic. Or Let's an, go with that. Or an Anglican. Let's go with. Or that. a Muslim. Let's go with that. Has your religious leader ever done what you are asking me to do? I'm just saying, all religious no, leaders. No, 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 no. Let us be have a they, Have they ever told you where they got the money to build the Centenary Bank? Have they ever told you where they got the money to, buy, to build the Mulago, I mean, Lubaga Hospital? Have they ever told you how they got the money to buy all that village called in Zambia to, to own it? Have they ever told you? So, so in other words, you're saying, let us get the money and collect it the best way we can, and let us spend it the way we can with no accountability no, just, or uh, responsibility. Just ask my question, because your concern is about how the Pentecostals run their affairs. But you are not concerned about how the traditional religions, how they have been running their affairs. That the, the Pentecostals you are accusing for being so rich, they haven't built a centenary banker before. They haven't built one yet. They don't own in Zambia village mm -hmm. and all those hospitals yet. And nobody has ever come up to ask, where did they get all those monies? Nobody has ever even asked, how is our money, how was our money managed when you gave it? I think it's just biasness that is disturbing you guys. And you, th you think we are so rich, but some of us we are even not. Because so there's no, no money. It's, it's, no, no. <laughs> there's some, no money here for some, some of us we are not even rich. Okay. I have been a pastor for the last 32 years. Mm. Okay? It would be very unfair for you to kuzimba kasajia kumotima when you see me driving a Prado. Today, okay. after, after 32, 32 years, after 32 32 years, years after yes. <laughs> it, would actually, it would actually be an insult mm, for you. Yes. For me, when you tell me you are so rich, I how dare you are driving a Prado? Do you know the years I've been serving God? Mm. 32 years. So, according to you, I am worth a, mm -hmm. a Prado in 32 years. But Imagine if I had done business, but wouldn't I be one of the owners of the arcade, arcades in town in mm -hmm. 32 years? So, according to you, my brain does not work properly mm. that in 32 years. All have the, been able to achieve all what I have is the product that's an answer to pastor okay, if, if, if the services are for the people mm. instead of having one religious leader spend 20 million Uganda shillings a day for an event here in Kampala um, I, I'll call it an event because that's what it looks like if the services are for the people you as religious leaders why don't you come together 
and agree that these services are for the people. Why are we spending 20 million Uganda shillings on one event in the, in the, in the center of Kampala and not use this 20 million to send Pastor Chiganda to Busoga, to send Pastor um, uh, someone else to Masindi and spread the gospel other than make, make it look like the gospel is rich. Wait, what do you exactly mean when you say spending time in media? We, we, know, we, we, we know, we know, we know the events. Is it on in, breakfast? In, 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 is it on uh, on the organization of uh, like what? I, I don't want to pick out on a particular. Maybe event. pick up one event, for instance. Is it a crusade? Uh, it's it's um, is it a seminar? It happens every week, Conference? so we can't call it. We no, can't no, call no, it no. a crusade. No, no. G give me an example. I, I I really want to know. I'll give, give you an example mm -hmm. quite openly. Pastor Elvis Mbonyi. Mm right here on uh, Lugogo. Mm -hmm. There we go. You have seen that. Mm -hmm. If you have done an event before, you know how much it costs to put up that kind of arrangement. Mm. That happens every single week. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of money spent on one event every single week. Do you have if these services are for the people... Excuse me. Do you have a problem with that? I, I have a problem with it. If the services are I for the people, why are you spending that huge sum think, of money I think you are just, on just a selected are you few not a victim when of, you can spread the gospel are you not with a, that little money? Are you not a victim of jealousy? Not really. Is it biasness? Why would I be? What if, no, no, excuse me. <laughs> what if his members and the type of the class of his members are able to afford that bill? What if? Okay. Huh? So it's about no, what no. we can afford. How much do you think uh, to organize a matters day? How much do you think it takes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I How much do you think? That is 500 million for so, an event of one day. Why yeah. haven't you ever complained? I'm going to complain next time. Well, as it stands right now, with a growing a number of charges and charges going on up within Uganda, it seems like perhaps there needs to be regulation. As it stands from within the government, and not only is it going to be happening for the churches, the Pentecostal churches, but also for the entire faith-based religions. So whatever religion it might be, there will be a check coming up, and there are simply some, some regulations that the government is putting in place. Right now, the Pentecostal churches are saying, no, we will not go with this. We have had Pastor Chigan and joining us today morning. Thank you Thank so you very much. much. Mm -hmm. And Thank as you. it stands, you are the folk perhaps you need to be more keen with the churches you go to according to him. You have the right to leave one if you do not feel that that is where you want to be. The NTV morning at NTV continues. You're watching morning at NTV. Okukubiriza programu eno tuwaye no kujitege kalibera banja lye nnini tosobola ku mulo kutusango lisasudde entebe enete ko kugasa abantu buli week omurasta chano nyagwe chulina lwa butayagala kumanya exactly no bera era banange government yetu yambe nyongera kubabulira nabagambe myaka ngebiri ejise dirwachi waluwe